when you think about your keyword strategy, everybody typically has one of two mindsets. You have a ton of keywords in your account, but how do you find those new and emerging queries as they're coming? And really what we're looking at in this end is it's a time for one of two strategies that I love promoting. One is called broadience. So it's broad match plus audience targeting. So you have an audience yeah. list of some sorts. I know a lot of people don't hear broadience, uh, but it, I love it. You have audience targeting allows you to reach people that you already know. You add some of your top keywords under a broad match, no modifiers, just broad match, because what's going to happen there is all the different variations of new and emerging queries then will show up in that ad group for the broad match word and phrase. But you put it against an audience that you already know exists. So somebody that um, it could be an in-market audience for automotive. The other one is something called dynamic search ads, also known as DSA, where mm -hmm. dynamic search ads, it scans the content of the page and determines here are the keywords that are not in your current ad group to what keywords you should be showing up for. So it's a way to sort of extend your your account without having to do a ton of manual work on the back end. So it, it's one of those areas if you're trying to figure out like how do you make sure that you're showing up for these new and emerging queries, there are two strategies to help you grow your awareness and grow your reach at the same time while still giving you some controls across the board. If you are a tier three and you've pulled back all of your ad spend and you're starting to think about like, what do you do next? It's a good time to think about unpausing your campaigns and using minimal budget. So small amounts across the board, because what's going to happen is the day you decide you want to turn things back on and you're ready to go full bore. If you've had your accounts pause, it means we have to rescan your website to confirm that everything is still relevant to calculate quality scores, to do all that on the back end. There's a bunch of technical things that happen on the back end, which means means you're potentially going to have to pay more in the short term if you have everything paused across the board. So like when, when we talk to companies, we're like, do you pause everything or just reduce the budget so that things are live and just not really showing up? It's don't pause, reduce the budgets across the board. Because then when you go to add budget and go live, you have that account history. Your quality score still is in place. We've already done all the editorial reviews on that back end. So then when you add the incremental budget in, it literally just takes us a little bit of time to go, okay, show this larger quantity of impressions to get the clicks, et cetera. So if you're thinking about what your strategy is and you know that you're going to be having budgets in the next short term, now is a good time to start unpausing things adding budget into your account so that when you're ready to go full bore, you've got the money there and you've got the account ready to go live. Let's think about these kind of more digital and online things that we were forced into doing the past few weeks as a, as an opportunity, right? And so there is more online engagement with the dealerships, right? Uh, anything you can do to, to continue to publish kind of like the 360 walk arounds or, or filling out online paperwork, um, all of that kind of thing, I think, you know, consumers would, are, are still going to love to do. Um, and anything you can deliver along those lines will, will continue to help as well. I love that. Yes. More virtual retailing.